Data centers are part of the lifeblood that powers big tech names like Meta and Google, and they face rising risks from climate change. Here's Diana Olick with a deep dive on that story. Data centers store and transfer all the digital information we use, which is a lot and growing. So they run very, very hot. The cheapest and most common way to cool them is water, a lot of it. Water tends to be much cheaper than power. And so it's a pure financial decision for many players. In just one day, the average data center could use 300,000 gallons of water to cool itself. The same water consumption as 100,000 homes, according to researchers at Virginia Tech, who also estimated that one in five data centers draws water from stressed watersheds, mostly in the West. There is, without a doubt, risk if you're dependent on water. These data centers are set up to operate 20 years. So what is it going to look like in 2040 here, right? That's why when Cyrus won, formerly a REIT but purchased this year by investment firms KKR and Global Infrastructure Partners, moved into the drought-stricken Phoenix area, it used a different, albeit more expensive, method of cooling. So that was sort of our, our aha moment where we had to make a decision. We changed our design to go to zero consumption water so that we didn't have that sort of risk. Realizing the risk in New Mexico, Meta ran a pilot program on its Las Lunas data center to reduce relative humidity from 20% to 13%, lowering water consumption. It has since implemented this in all of its centers. But Meta's overall water consumption is still rising steadily, with about one-fifth of that water last year coming from areas deemed to have water stress. It does actively restore water and set a goal last year to restore more water than it consumes by 2030, starting in the West. But while companies with their own data centers can do that, data centers that lease to multiple clients are increasingly being bought by private equity firms in search of high-growth real estate. There's a lot of new players that may not be as sophisticated, that may be looking at a short-term time horizon, that aren't worried about what the watershed looks like in 10 or 20 years because they're probably not going to be around. And today at the COP27 UN Climate Summit in Egypt, a new drought alliance of seven countries, including the U.S., is meeting to look at ways to make populations, economies, and businesses more resilient against drought. I also spoke with Microsoft President Brad Smith from that summit, who said the company is investing in new technologies to recycle water in its data centers. And he said he was, quote, bullish on Microsoft's ability to meet its goal of being water positive by 2030.